I'm sitting here watching my brand new Samsung LCD TV. But I've never really thought about how this TV got all the way from Korea into my living room. Here's a little story to show you how. The relationship with Samsung has been going now for just under 10 years. All inbound coming into the UK, Samsung have got something like 600 containers en route, two aircraft in the air and 150 vehicles on the road. We're, uh, we've been active now, I think, in Thames Ports for about, um, about two years. That's been a huge area of growth for us. Port centric is a change in the way people do their logistics. That operation has grown 300% in the last 12 months. So it's, it's a huge area of growth for us. So we see this relationship, particularly with our ability to do the shipping and have totally joined up logistics, um, has been quite a key operation for us and quite a key product development area for us as well. The, the ship typically will be turning the container around from the ship within about four to six hours of arrival and that product will be going into the warehouse. A lot of bonuses to being here because it's minutes to get a container in and out rather than if we're in Northamptonshire it's sort of hours. Whereas here we can use all port facilities, we can use a shunter and a shunter trailer. So we receive a log of orders with all the order numbers from Samsung. Samsung create the order in their system, it drops through to our system. We have a log then of by delivery date, what's going where, and then from that we route the orders, we allocate all of the stock to all of the routes, and then the warehouse take care of the rest, picking uh, and loading. Logistics organisation, we have 3,000 people in the UK in total, including some of the shipping areas, and um, we have um, something like 600, uh, five, 600 vehicles. We cover a variety of operations. We do the brown goods, uh, which are the television sets. Uh, we do white goods for Samsung as well, um, but we also do the mobile phones. Handling something like about 20 million units a year on the mobile phones, and in this site here, we're working about four and a half million units a year going through. Uh, and they're going through to every vestige of the high street from small independent electrical retailers right the way up to major, major operators. Um, so pretty much every time you see a Samsung product in the high street, it will have one way been touched by, by NYK. My name is David Miller, uh, I'm the Shift Operations Manager for this distribution centre. The distribution centre is 700,000 square feet, um, which is approximately um, six Wembley sized football pitches. It's made up of uh, around 100,000 racking locations. The container arrives on site and then a team of uh, between two and three members of staff will tip that container and then they'll stack it onto a pallet to a predetermined height and specification uh, and then they'll shrink wrap that pallet and uh, label that pallet uh, and the details of that pallet are uploaded onto the computer mainframe. Then uh, picked up and transported into the warehouse uh, where it's stored uh, internally in the warehouse for anything from two days up to a period of uh, six months and beyond. My name's Sandra Young, I'm store manager at Corby Oasis Retail Park. When the television leaves the warehouse, it arrives on the lorry, it comes in a stillage, our delivery assistants unload the stillages, they then put the items away with a system called Voice Put Away, they call out the catalogue number and the Put Away system tells them where the location is for the item to be. The customer will come into the store, he or she will look at the, the browser, um, choose the television they want. If it's in store and they want to purchase it, they'll come to the till, give the girl the catalogue number, 
she'll then process it through the till, take their details for television. Once the sale goes through, it will produce a picking ticket in the stockroom. The stockroom picker will then pick it, bring it to the collection counter, where they'll call the number and then the customer will collect it, it'll be stamped, and off they go on their journey home. So there you have it. You've seen this TV travel on ships, trucks, forklifts, and ultimately my car to make it into my living room. Now I'm going to sit back and watch the football. <laughs>